Right then, welcome back. Or if you're new, just welcome. Um, if you are new, my name's Lou. And normally you can find me sodding around in my camper van with my better half, Emily, my dog and my cat. But we're going to mix things up a bit and I need to put you on a tripod. Oh, Jesus. All right, that's better. My physical fitness is at the lowest it's ever been. I can't be giving it all that with the vlogging. It's, I told you, bags heavy. But anyway, if you are new around here, I'm embarking upon some wild camping adventures. I'm very, very excited. And a big reason of that is to improve my physical fitness. Because like I say, it's the lowest it's ever been. So I do want to improve on that. So we're keeping it simple today. We've come into the forest. I've already picked my spot. It's about a mile and a half. I've already done half a mile. So we've got about a mile to go. So I think it's going to be decent. So yeah, let's go and check it out. Another reason that I'm giving wild camping a go is because as much as I love the van, it does get me close to nature. I'm a huge fan of wildlife photography. It's my... My hobby, my main enthusiasm, the thing that brings me the most joy in life. And being out in a tent, I think, is going to get me that little bit closer. So it's already working. <laughs> I'm getting some right dodgy looks from a squirrel that's given me the eye from, the, uh, from behind his little branch there. <sighs> but yeah, this is what I came for. Any ideas? In the comments, folks, no idea what this is. It's just like a, a corrugated roof. Well, it's just a roof, no house. Oh, maybe it goes under. Oh, I don't know. So I don't really have time to stop and investigate because it's already getting late. I don't want to get there too early, so I've tried to time it well. So far, conditions have been good. The sun's in and out. When the sun's out, it's hot, but now it's just disappeared, I think, for the night by the looks of it. So I don't know. There's a bit of blue. There's a bit of blue over there. We'll see how we go, but yeah, still a fair way to go. <laughs> They say if you want to glimpse the future, you need space. Then you said you'll put down your morning guns. Oh, with the backpack, you're having a laugh. Woo. Oh, you got a big old close up of my face again. Yeah, enough sodding about. It's getting quite late. We're going to run out of time. And I need to get there because I need to get set up. And I'm going to do, wait for it, wait for it, cooking. All right, it's not really cooking. It's not a pot noodle. It's not cooking. It's a it's a posh pot noodle. So we've come off the main track now, uh, just trying to get through all the brambles. But I found a little clearing earlier. It's now the mission is to just find the same clearing again. Oh, I walked over this. Yeah, and I've got to get a move on because. Like I say, it's getting a bit late. I've been sodding around with my drone, and I? And pissing around when I really should have just been concentrating on what I'm doing. Ah, oh, I hate pricks. Steady. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, chicken limbo to get under here. Oh, no. Oi. Ah. <laughs> my legs don't have the, the muscle to squat very well with the backpack on. Right, we're here. So this was the most level bit of ground I could find that's well off of the path. So hopefully, I know there's a tree above me, but I think, I think we're gonna be all right. No wind tonight, so we should be all right in the trees, I reckon. Right, let's do it. Pop you on the, pop you there. And I'm just gonna have to time lapse you because like I say, it is gonna be dark in about an hour, I reckon. So that is it then, the tent is up. It don't take long, like eight, 10 minutes, something like that, and this is only my second time, so I'm sure it'll get quicker. Um, I thought we'd address the elephant in the room. A few of you last week pointed out, yes, my tent is bright orange. Um, 
<laughs> yes, it's a bad idea. Let me tell you the story very, very quickly. So my friend Matt, Matt will be watching now. Hi, Matt. Um, he's been sending me like wild camping gear that he's been getting for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And I was having a bad day with the van the other day. And I was like, fuck it, I'm getting a tent. So I was like, right, Matt, what, what size tent do I need? This, that, and that. I did it all very, very quickly. Now, I think of things as a photographer. So I'm thinking, right, nice bright colour, stand out in the green landscape, up on the mountains, in the forest, going to look lovely. With hindsight, orange is a fucking stupid idea. So no, it's not stealthy. It will look nice in photos. Um, I think, I think my spot, I'm just about going to get away with it. But if I do get by a rogue fox, then Matt, I'm holding you fully responsible. I don't know, if a feral pigeon comes in and you know, decimates me again. Matt, you're fully responsible, but I like the colour, but yeah, not stealthy, not stealthy at all. Right, we're gonna go and check and see if you can see us from the path. Just a second though, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> so I've not even got up to the path and I am inconspicuous. I'm behind, I'm over there somewhere, let's see. There I am, there. And like I say, I'm still about another 100 yards, I think, from the, well, it's the secondary path. The main path is even further away. So I think, I think we're gonna be all right. That's my sleeping mat. Got myself a little pillow as well. Um, for those of you asking from last week about like the kit and stuff, I'm gonna use it a few times before I stick any uh, links and stuff in, because I don't wanna give you, a, like with everything we test, paid for or unpaid for, we always try it out for a decent amount of time just to make sure we're not sending you off to buy crap. <laughs> so, sleeping bag. It says this is a two or three season. I've got my doubts, I reckon a two season. It says comfortable at five and down to minus 15, but I think five is gonna be its limit. Uh, but there is a slight issue with the sleeping bag as well. Um, I was kind of on a budget and I didn't wanna overspend and get a load of crap I don't need. So I went for like a, I don't know, lower range, mid range sleeping bag. But it did mean I had to sacrifice on color. It's comfy, but yeah, so not only am I in a bright orange tent, I look like a fucking caterpillar. So if for any reason we're overrun and the world is overtaken by giant garden birds and I inevitably come out of here in my sleeping bag in the morning, because let's face it, it's going to be flipping freezing. I'd say I'm a goner because the blue tits, me and this, oh, they're going to be all over me. <sighs> Compromises, eh? Right then, food-wise, what we got? Oh, just before you get all oh, get a bit overexcited and wonder what that is in case it's appeared in shot, it's a uh, it's a GoPro mount. So calm down, don't be silly. Um, right, cooking. So food-wise, I'm going all out. I've gone posh. I've got one of these vegetable curry and rice, uh, like a posh pot noodle. I'm not even sure how you do it, so we'll suss that out. Uh, for breakfast, I've got my trusty friends at Y Foods. I've got this. And then just in case I get a bit peckish, I've got three Kit Kats. And I think that's about it, you know. Oh, and some milk for my tea. So before we carry on with the video, I just want to thank Y Foods for yet again sponsoring this channel. You've seen me drinking them on the road in my van and they're going to prove extremely useful now that I'm out doing the wild camping. And they do come in a powder, so they're going to be really handy to carry around because I can just bring 
a pot of powder and then when I find water I can just mix them up. So basically this is a whole meal in a drink. So you can have it for your breakfast, lunch or dinner. I'll be having it tomorrow morning for breakfast. I was going to bring the powder but Emily cleaned out the van and left all the powder indoors. But we always have some of this with us wherever we go because it is just so useful. So it's lactose free, gluten free, it's got all the macronutrients and micronutrients in it that my body needs. Tons and tons of vitamins and minerals, all the good stuff. So it stops you just grabbing stupid things like free Kit Kats. So they are just for emergency in case, you know, I start to really run low. But yeah, Y Foods, there's a taster pack so you can try all the different flavours. Because I'm in the forest, I thought I'd go for Fruity Berry, one of my favourites along with a banana. Chocolate's also good, the coconut's pretty nice too. I absolutely love them and I cannot thank them enough for sponsoring this video yet again. So if you do want to give Y Foods a go, I'll leave a link on the screen now that will get you 10% off. I think it's Camper 10 and all the information you will need will be in the video description. So that's me sorted for the morning. Now we're going to crack on and sort out dinner. If the bright orange tent don't give me away, I think the amount of steam coming out of this thing will. It's boiling quick though. I'm rushing now because I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. It says on the packet, I can either pour this into the pan and just boil it, no water needed, or place unopened pouch in a pan of boiling water for seven to eight minutes. I'm going to try that because then I can reuse that water, surely, for a cup of tea. I'll let you know. We'll see. Surely I just got to heat it up, right? <laughs> now you'll know why I don't do cooking. I don't know if I've cooked it long enough. Give myself a little fold up fork. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> I'm a master chef. Now, do you want to have a look? Can you see? Can you see in there? Try and focus on my face, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Looks all right, you know? I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. Genuinely impressed. Six quid though, I think, 5 99 that's expensive. My Y Foods works out like stupid, I'll put it on the screen, but it works out per meal. I need a longer fork. So I've got a couple of concerns with this whole wild camping thing. Obviously, like getting seen by the forest ranger or some busybody. But I'm kind of used to that with a van, the wild camping in the van, getting moved on, only obviously I'm a lot more vulnerable because I can't just drive away. Dogs are another concern. Now I'm a dog lover, you'll know I've got one myself, but I'm a bit concerned that they're gonna piss up the corner of my tent. A couple of pluses though with the tent, it can't break down, it ain't gonna cost me 10 grand to put diesel in it. Oh, I am loving the sound of the forest right now. I'm pretty sure that once it gets dark in a minute, all the sounds are going to freak me the fuck out, but I don't know, can you hear, can you hear the mic getting that? Listen to it. This is good. This is worthy. This can go in no pan meals. I'm just going to, I'm going to turn you off. You don't need to see me eat all of this, do you? No. Okay, so now that everything's done, dinner's done, tent set up, I need to have a bit of a tidy up in here, sort myself out, I can actually relax. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I found myself rushing. I didn't give myself enough time to get here, get set up and do all the filming. And really, I should know better, but I don't know. It's, it's getting dark, but I think I've got like, 
I've got time. I had more time than what I thought, but I just wanted to get everything set because I'm not going to lie to you, I am a little bit nervous. Of course I am. I mean, I'm in the middle of a forest, anything could happen. So, yeah, it is a little bit daunting. Whether I'll sleep well or not, I don't know. Um, I should be all right with the temperature. It's only going to get down to about six tonight. I've got a decent sleeping blow-up thing uh, with a decent thermal rating. I spent a lot of money on the mat, which is why it's compromised on everything else. Uh, and I've got some nice warm clothes. So hopefully I'll be warm enough because I do feel the cold. Um, but yeah, whether I wake up with all the noises, I don't know, because the trees creak and the birds and we're under a, a flight path. You've probably heard it on some of the B-roll, but yeah, there's planes going over. So whether they'll wake me up, I don't know. But I'm going to drink my tea, enjoy the moment. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I'll see you either in the middle of the night if I'm freaking out or first thing in the morning because I've got no internet here, which is kind of the point. But once it gets dark, I've got nothing to do. So it'll be an early one, which is good because you all know I like an early start. Oh, tea in the woods is good. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I was going to sign off for the night and then I thought, no, this is meant to be an informative channel. I thought you might want to see some stuff. But really, I've just got questions for all you wild campers out there. So question one, backpack. Does that come in the tent or does that go in the porch? I've bought it in the tent because I feel like, you know, it needs to be in the tent. Second question, boots, right? Boots. I would assume stay in the porch, I don't want to bring them in here, they're all muddy, but then I got to thinking, right, they're going to get full of bugs, right, bugs are going to get in my boots. So I've come up with a genius idea, and you can thank me for this later. So I bought a spare pair of socks with me, in case I get cold in the night, or in case they get wet feet. Look! Bug protectors! So I've just popped them over my boot, and I thought that'll do me, now I won't get any bugs in the tent. Uh, in the tent, in my shoes, you dickhead, I've already got bugs in the tent, but that's fine. But then I got to thinking again, if I leave them out there, are they going to get wet? They're going to get covered in... <laughs> covered in conversy. I told you, bugs in the tent. Covered in... Com oh, he's alright, it's just a little fly. Covered in condensation is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm going to bring the boots in. They're not too bad. But yeah, boots in the tent, boots in the porch. Let me know. Next question. Do you put all your stuff away? You know, in case you have to hot foot it in the night. But let's be honest, if I'm going to have to hot foot it in the night, I'm leaving this shit and I'm going. So... To me, I'd rather have it all out. It's ready then for tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm new at this. I've got no idea. Um, I do know this head tool wrapped around my head is giving me a headache, though. I think I'll have a Kit Kat and then I'll try and go to sleep. And now, now, now I'll see you tomorrow. I've got loads of bugs in here. Loads of fucking bugs. It's all part of it, though. That's camping, folks. That's camping. Right. See you tomorrow. The sun is literally just going down. It's a beautiful night. I am going to take a minute and appreciate it. And yeah, see you in the morning. Ooh. So one more thing, just quickly, just quickly before I go to bed. I've just realised my head torch does weird shit. So look, regular lighting. Oh, hang on, regular lighting. Mood lighting. Boudoir lighting, look at that. And, and, if you really want to get into it and have a bit of a rave. Rave lights. And on that note, I will definitely, definitely see you tomorrow. Good morning. So I'm not going to lie to you, it has been cold. Oh, I don't want to get out of the bag. Oh, chilly! Oh, I'll tell you what, bug covers work to treat. I might have to pattern this, you know. If you want bug covers for your shoes, I can do you three pairs of bug covers, 15 quid, plus packaging and tax, but there you go.
Right, that's it then, I'm up. I've had my breakfast. I've warmed up, it's not that cold once you're out of the tent. Um, I slept in, I've got thermal trousers. Underneath there I've got like a thermal underlayer. I've then got this puffy coat. This thing's genius, I'll show you this in a bit. Uh, my rub top, which is probably the warmest thing I own, and then another uh, base layer under that. Hood, hat, didn't need the gloves, didn't need the second pair of socks, but yeah, it was it was a little bit nippy, shall we say. Um, the night was all right. I had, um, I had a migraine, I do suffer with migraines. If you've ever had them, you know they're horrendous, and this one was particularly bad, but I still feel it now. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because I had such a headache the only thing I can do at this point is just shut my eyes and go to sleep. So I didn't even, I couldn't even concentrate on like feeling scared or nervous or the noises because I just had to get to sleep. Um, woke up quite a few times. Obviously the aeroplanes were going all night, which didn't help. Um, and the migraine, like I say, kept waking me up. And then when I woke up, you felt the cold, but all in all, not bad. And waking up to the bird song this morning is probably worth the sufferance of that little bit of cold because it weren't too bad. But this, this is what I'm talking about. This is amazing. So just a short trip today. I'm going to pack up in a minute. I've run out of water because of the migraine. A lot of parrotties to van life, actually. Water being one of them. Water's even more like sacred in the camping world. I do have a filtration kit thing, but there's no natural source here. So I did bring enough. I knew I needed to bring enough with me for one night. It's another plane. Tent's a mess. Looks like a bomb's it. I've only been here like less than, I don't know, less than 12 hours. No, 12 hours? No, been here about 14 hours. Don't know how I've made such a mess, but I have, but yeah. All right, let's pack up and head off. Is it then I'm pretty much done uh, before I go I'm gonna quickly show you this coat cuz I don't know how I've never seen these before some of you are gonna laugh at me and go duh yeah but um yeah for van life I'm thinking this is absolutely genius so for van life like you want to take a small skinny raincoat plus like a big thick coat for when it's cold and just space is a right issue same for camping obviously but this thing hold on I'll speed I'll speed this bit up for you Right, there you go then. Oh, oversped it. Right, there you go then. And it just folds up into a little pack. How genius is that? Uh, probably gonna need, blah, blah, blah. probably not gonna need it on the walk back uh, because it's gonna get quite warm. It's all right now, so yeah. And we just shove it in here, look. With our rubbish, make sure we take that back with us. Oi! <sighs> It's all right once it's on, it's just getting the bloody thing off the ground. But like I say, I need to improve my fitness anyway. So hopefully I'm gonna get used to it. Um, look at me, proper Dora now. Emily calls me Dora all the time because I'm always off and about. Whew. And that's it. So yeah, I've had a wicked time. I do hope you've enjoyed coming on this mini adventure with me. I did just keep it simple except for the cameras, I probably bought too many cameras. I still need to figure out exactly what I'm gonna bring, what works, what doesn't, but I have a good test run of my kit, so I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, you can't beat it. If you wanna see more um, wild camping adventures with me, and obviously all the van life stuff, which will still very much be happening on the channel with Emily, AJ and Summer, then yeah, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell. If you like this video, give it one of them, and I will see you all. <laughs> Talking with all this weight on after packing up a tent's hard work, so on that note, I'll see you on the next one.